Hello out there, YouTube lad. Welcome to the Oakley Good Review Channel. So guys, as you can see before you guys, I want to talk to you about something serious. As you can see before you guys, it has finally happened. Amidst all the figures, guys, in the history of our playlist for Funko, the Rock Candy Girls, the articulated action figures, the little display figures, guys, the moment that we never expected to come true has arrived. And that is our very first Funko Pop. And guys, I want to talk to you about this because I have to admit to some confusion, guys. I don't know why this thing was so irresistible. <laughs> so here it is, the Pop Ad Icons, Kool-Aid Man 44. Guys, I don't drink Kool-Aid. I never liked especially Kool-Aid. And definitely not a red Kool-Aid, guys. I did not like the, any of the red flavors. Uh, in fact, that's what I used to call them. Call, call them cherry, didn't call them strawberry, didn't call them fruit punch. I called them red. The red flavors, guys. And I didn't like any of them. But there's something I can admire about a glass pitcher hurling himself through brick walls. To spill Kool-Aid all over people and the ground and everywhere else that he happens to be. Oh yeah. It's it, it's undeniable, guys. There's a there's a definite charm to this. I don't know why I got this though. I don't know. I have no plans for this. I don't know if I'm giving it to our star. I don't know if it's going on a display. It's hard for me to quite understand that. It could be this could be our new channel mascot, guys. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think should be done with this guy. So there's no plans right now. Let's take a look at him. He'll be in the Funko playlist for sure, that I can tell you. Outside of that, I have no idea. Okay, so there he is in his attractive packaging. Whoa, whoa, this thing is heavy. Guys, this is heavy. This thing is heavy. Let's take a look at him. So it doesn't look, <laughs> he's got ice cubes. <laughs> oh, that is outstanding, acrylic ice cubes, I like it. Uh, so, are these, are these vinyl? They seem pretty, oh no, like, oh, these are vinyl. Um, <laughs> I love this. I love that. Uh, I got the foots here, so he's very, very, very stable. It's not quite completely round here, guys. There's a, a little bit of a flat spot on this. And you can see the face isn't 100% exactly right for the Kool-Aid Man. It definitely has some of the Funko Pop sensibilities to it. It's not stylized to the extreme that everything else from them is, but he's, he's the happy, the happy Kool-Aid guy. This is... Just a really well done figure, guys. This looks great. I mean, there's no, there's no movement. It's very static. There's so this is. I would imagine all the Funko Pop, like certainly Rock Candy, is. I imagine all this is just static. Is just meant to be displayed. Uh, the only movement I've ever had on any of the Rock Candies or anything like that, that was the static ones, was like a bobblehead thing. On Spider Gwen, guys, which by the way is available in my office playlist if you want to see that. And I think it's also in our Funko playlist as well, which is, of course is where you'll find this and everything else that we have from Funko. But I've looked at the pops a few times, guys. I thought, guys, we would eventually be getting one. I thought it was going to be one of the Bill Cyphers because that one isn't as outlandish with, you know, the stylized nature of a lot of the pop stuff. I think is, is I'm probably the wrong target audience for that, guys. In fact, I'm probably not a target at all for that. And a lot of that stuff, I think, looks cool, but I'll never have wall-to-wall, -wall, you know, boxes of, of Funko Pops or even the figures themselves, guys. Uh, I've seen some of the people that have collections that are just literally everything that Funko Pop has ever done, all the exclusives, everything, guys. You have 
thousands and thousands and thousands of these pieces, guys, which, you know, at a certain level takes up just a, a ton of room. It's a, it's a pretty big footprint for something like that, guys. Now, of course, you guys are probably thinking to yourselves, well, yeah, but you built a whole bunch of models, and what about those footprints, and what about your office display where you've overrun your space? And you're right, guys. There There is a lot to be said for that. However, I think there's a certain homogeneity to the Funko Pop figures, guys, which is why I really like this one. The, the Ad Icon series is interesting because... You know, you've got Blueberry and you've got this other stuff. And rather than doing it straight across, they're all in this sort of pop sensibility, guys. And if you like the pop sensibility, then it's great. It's great for you guys that things fit into that. But the pop sensibility, to me, sometimes you lose what exactly the thing is supposed to be. Like, if you go get, for instance, all the Marvel MCU figures, unless the uniforms are very dissimilar, you can't necessarily always know who it is that you're looking at. And that sort of, I think, just moves away from what I hope for in an action figure or a display feature. I want to know what it is, and it's because I thought that thing was cool. I don't necessarily want a stylized version that looks slightly, somewhat, kind of, sort of like it. I, I usually want the thing, guys. And that's why you see a lot of the other reviews from Alps, especially, where when they can come close to the face sculpt of an actress or even a comic book figure to a, to, a, to a degree that I'm really excited about, guys. Usually I mention that, and that's the kind of things I look for. I want stuff to be accurate, which is why Funko Pop wasn't really of a, a great interest to me a lot. This one, however, though, is both cool and stylized, guys. So it somehow manages to hit both notes, but in a really, really interesting way. And I like what they've done with this. I think this is... I mean, it's, it's a very simple figure, guys, but it just, it reads across as so cool. This this is what I look for a lot of times in display pieces, the element of cool. And it's really what attracted me kind of to, uh, to the Gwen Stacy figure, guys, as well, because visually that was just so striking. And, of course, that's what ultimately got me back into comic books. And there's going to be some more stuff, guys, coming down the pipeline on the channel uh, devoted to that as well, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. But for this one, guys, we probably have a pretty lengthy video of me just kind of talking about Funko Pop and this figure. And it, it's, you know, you've got, you've got three colors to this thing. You've got the black, you've got the red, then you've got this sort of color list here up here for the ice cubes in the rim of the pitcher as well as the handle, guys. This is good. This is really well done. This is easily the best Funko Pop I think I've ever seen. And I'm glad, guys, that this is our first one. The Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Love this guy. He's just awesome. So, uh, maybe he'll show up as our channel mascot. Maybe he'll show up in my office collection. Who knows, guys? Maybe even this will be something that the star of our show will wind up with. One can never tell. But definitely, guys, leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts on that. That is, however, going to wrap it up for this video of the Funko Pop Ad Icon Kool-Aid Man number 44, guys. Oh, yeah. Guys, if you did enjoy the look at this figure, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, just like he's doing here. Thumbs up. Guys, forget that part. Just thumbs up. Guys, hit the red subscribe button, the red, just like this red, guys. If you have not done so already, guys, hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest content as well as available, guys. Include, I, I don't know that we're getting more of these, but including just different display pieces. You got healthy action figures, guys. Of course, tons and tons of Transformers. As I record this, we haven't quite reviewed 400 total Transformers, but that will almost certainly happen in 2019, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed, where updates to the channel are made as soon as I can do them, which is usually pretty much as soon as they happen. Guys, also, there's Twitter-only specific content. Mostly it's displays, but there's sometimes some other stuff. You can only find our Twitter for you guys. Feel us there if you would care to. We'd certainly love to have you following us as well there. Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know what should be done with this guy. This very, very cool guy. I dig this, guys. I really do.
for me not liking the particular product, I really, really like this. Because this is one of my favorite advertising guys, I think, when I was growing up. So very, very happy to see him. Very cool. But guys, leave us a comment and let us know what should be done with them as well as, guys, if you have any Funko Pops, if you collect them, who is your favorite, guys? We'd be interested in hearing from you. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye.